I was on the phone with the open sauce team earlier and they want to completely change the egg drop booth. <laughs> Instead of just being a booth, it's actually going to be an event near the end of the day now, or maybe even the end of both days. There's a ton to plan. I need to build the whole thing. Here's what the new egg drop booth is. You build a contraption to protect an egg from a 20 foot fall. At the end of the day, we drop all the eggs along with some of your favorite creators and enjoy the carnage or lack thereof. When I came up with this idea, I was only planning to drop one egg every two and a half minutes. That speed's fine for something that runs throughout the day. It could still easily run several hundred eggs over the course of the event. Condensed into an hour event though, which realistically means more like 40 minutes for actual egg dropping, that's 16, maybe 18 eggs. Obviously that needs to be sped up. I did a lot of Pinewood Derby events as a kid, so the first thing that comes to mind for me is more lanes. How many egg contraptions can I reasonably lift and drop in one go? I've got a six pound test weight looped over a pulley, 20 feet up there, and uh, it raises and lowers just fine. It's a little squeaky, but other than that, it's great. Six pounds is enough to lift four one pound contraptions while leaving two pounds for batteries in the dropper mechanism itself. All right, cool, finally. A few quick notes on safety. At open sauce, the fittings will be connected to the pipes with bolts. I didn't do that for this test because I wanted to be able to return as much of the PVC as possible. The base you just saw was 5x10 feet instead of the actual 5x5 five five that'll be at the event. Again, this would save money in testing, though I ended up cutting it down to 5 feet anyway. Finally, we'll use drilled holes and rope for the top and open sauce instead of duct tape. That was, you guessed it, a cost saving measure. This stuff's like 13 bucks a pipe. But Paul, you shout at your screen, how will I know when my contraption's about to be dropped? I'm glad you asked. Thanks to our new state of the art registration system, entering an egg contraption and getting notified has never been simpler. First, talk to an admin to be assigned a competitor ID and matching tag. Scan the QR code on your tag, then fill out the form. Once you submit, the construction timer begins. You've got 10 minutes. Build your egg protector contraption using the supplied materials. Once you're done, bring your contraption back to the admin. They'll confirm its weight, note how long it took you to build, and put it on display. If you provided your phone number during registration, we'll send you an SMS about 5 to 10 minutes before your contraption is dropped. That's it. The only hard part's avoiding scrambling. <laughs> This is a combat robot motherboard from Just Cause Robotics. It's got a radio receiver on board and splits out power and control, so it's easy to wire everything up. This brush motor controller from Hobbywing receives a negative 100 to 100 value from the receiver and turns that into something the motor actually understands. Finally time for the first full height dropper test. I'm so excited, but first a couple caveats. I don't have the actual lifter motor attached to the frame, though there's no question anymore whether it's gonna be powerful enough. Boomstar! Second of all, I already know there's an issue with this cam where some of the cans are probably gonna release at the same time, but I've already got another one printing, so I think it's time to try it. You ready? Heads up. One, and nothing fell. Two, there we go. Okay. 
three, four, and the last one. <laughs> okay, sweet. I'll see you at open sauce.